master of the aquatic. He surprises his enemies at every turn. Did you have fun? Oh, yes, I did! Oh, yes, I did! So the idea of what we expected versus what he actually turned into is kind of wild when you think about it. Surprising his enemies with 10 tickles? For shown off nine years ago, Hydroid was our Davy Jones frame, right? Release the Kraken and all of that, and instead it was give your enemies a bit of fun with some tentacles, flailing them all over the place as if it was some kind of theme park ride. That's surely not what they originally envisioned. Now, his old kit, when you think about it, had a lot of annoying features for other players to have to deal with. Lots of staggers, puddles that made enemies disappear and not die for a while, and tentacles that flailed them around, making them much harder to shoot. But hopefully that's about to change. The idea of Hydroid's rework, I believe we're being told, is to retain his distinctive style while making him easier to use and bringing his powers into line with other existing Warframes. So there is a lot to dig into. How his abilities will now work, changing his passive and the introduction of a new ability. So let's dive in. Now, first up, his rework is going to eliminate the existing charging mechanics from Tempest Barrage and Tentacle Swarm. Now, with each cast of these abilities, they will automatically have the effects of a full charge, making Hydroid's gameplay more fluid and hopefully straightforward, basically removing that added layer of clunkiness from his old gameplay. The damage type transition. Now, Hydroid's Tempest Barrage and Tidal Surge abilities will no longer deal impact damage. Instead, they'll be dishing out corrosive damage capable of applying multiple stacks of corrosive, but also making enemies more susceptible to further damage. This change brings his abilities closer to Hydroid's Nautical team, but also adds the Corroding Barrage Augment mod effect into his base abilities, with Corroding Barrage now morphing into Viral Tempest, so changing status effects from corrosive to viral with that augment. So the ability will still be corrosive, but when you pop on the augment, it changes it to viral damage. So his passive overhaul. Gone are the days of spawning tentacles with those melee slam attacks. The new passive will trigger once Hydroid damages an enemy and will last until they are defeated. It enhances the first instance of corrosive status effects on an enemy by removing 50% of their armor instead of the usual 26%. This change means corrosive status can now achieve 100% armor reduction with full stacks. Hydroid doesn't need to apply all of the corrosive effects either. As long as he damages the enemy, then corrosive can be applied by any source after that in order to ramp those stacks up, so weapons and so on. So his Tempest Barrage rework. Tempest Barrage will now cause enemies to stagger instead of ragdoll, making it much easier to target them with your weapons and kill them in the process. This change alongside the transition to corrosive damage and the removal of its charge mechanic aims to make the ability more of a streamlined one and much easier for players to use. Then you have his Tidal Surge rework. His Tidal Surge ability is getting some added control, allowing you to steer it, the wave that is, to dictate where Hydroid and the enemies will end up once the ability has finished. Instead of yeeting enemies across the map, that kind of yeeting is gone. It will instead deposit enemies where the surge ends, improving its mechanic for grouping enemies. Additionally, like I've already mentioned, the reworked Tidal Surge will apply corrosive status effects to enemies, the amount of which is determined by how far they are carried by Tidal Surge's wave. Now, another improvement in Tidal Surge is it will cleanse all negative status effects from Hydroid. They've basically incorporated the benefits of that Tidal Impunity Augment mod directly into the ability itself, which is a nice change. Now, these alterations to Tidal Surge again, part of a broader effort to streamline Hydroid's gameplay, make him more fun to use, and overall just leave him in a better place. Introducing Plunder, his new ability. So Undertow is gone, no more puddle. It was a static gameplay ability that enforced that kind of AFK playstyle. Even if it dealt bugger all damage, it broke the flow and I guess the fast nature of what Warframe basically is, its gameplay. It's being replaced by a new ability called Plunder. This ability will remove armor from all enemies in a frontal cone, depending on what range you have, increasing Hydroid's armor depending on how many enemies you hit with it, and grant bonus corrosive damage to weapons. Now the effect of this plunder ability will also be stronger based on the number of corrosive status effects applied to the enemies that are actually hit by the ability in that frontal cone. So it's going to remove armor from your enemies, it's going to give you armor as a result depending on how many enemies you hit and it's also going to apply corrosive status effects and it's going to boost the damage of your weapon. So overall it's a much better ability than what Puddle was. 
the Tentacle Swarm rework. So Tentacle Swarm has had its charge mechanic removed, like I said at the start of the video, and will now hold enemies in a more steady position, making it much easier for you to target and then shoot them, I guess, in the face. This change is aimed again at improving the ability's functionality and synergy with your other abilities, and in relation to Pilfering Swarm, its augment, we have no idea if any changes are coming to that mod or if it's going to stay the same. I would assume there are no changes since they didn't mention it in the dev workshop, but who knows? I guess we'll know once the update actually goes live. So the Abyss of the Gat update, you can expect a more streamlined hydroid, user-friendly, corrosive stacking, armor stripping, no more ragdolling, easier grouping, and a tankier frame due to the new armor stacking ability, plunder, for added survivability. But let me know in the comments section below if you're looking forward to these changes or not. So if you want a very brief, I guess, synopsis of what these changes are going to be, which I will leave, I guess, chaptered for this video as a quick kind of reference point. There is damage type changes as Tempest Barrage and Tidal Surge will now deal corrosive damage instead of impact, making them more thematic and effective. His passive is being reworked, his old passive is being replaced. Now, damaging an enemy with Hydroid enhances the first corrosive status effect that you put on them, removing their armor by 50% instead of 25 or 26, speeding up to 100% once you get the full corrosive stacks. His charge mechanics are being removed, so charge mechanics on Tempest Barrage and Tentacle Swarm are being removed for smoother play, ensuring maximum effect on every cast, and some of his abilities are being modified and replaced. Tempest Barrage will now stagger enemies instead of ragdolling them, making them easier to kill. Its augment mod is now being incorporated into the actual ability, and the mod itself is being replaced with one called Viral Tempest, which applies viral status instead of corrosive. Tidal Surge will now be more controllable, carries enemies longer, and cleanses Hydra's negative status effects. So again, the Augment mod is being incorporated into the main mod, and the Augment mod itself is being changed. Undertow is replaced by Plunder, removes enemy armor permanently, buffs Hydra's armor, and grants bonus corrosive damage to your weapons. His Tentacle Swarm will also hold enemies steadier, making them easier to target and eliminate. Now, like I said, these changes aim to improve Hydra's usability, his power balance, make Hydroid more formidable and more fun to play, and it's diving deeper into, I guess, a corrosive, seafaring fantasy pirate warframe. Have a great day, have a great week, and as always, thanks for watching.